Well, back here at home, this is the fourth day firefighters in Pottawatomie County have battled brush fires on the Iowa side around the Mormon Bridge. Fire departments from both sides of the river jumped in to help control these fires that have charred around 400 acres of land so far. Tonight, 6 News' is John Chapman talked to a specialist who tells us those fires are dangerous, but we should temper that with logic and analyze what's really going on. We're down here and we're looking. When we look north here, we look at that timber right there. Chad Gravy looks over maps of the Pottawatomie County countryside. Conditions here were right for a brush fire. I've been working fire for 25 years and I haven't seen it this dry in this area. Add that dry ground to windy weather and leftover dried up trees from floods and you get what we got. A lot of what's happening with this fire is cleaning up debris and material from the floods in 2011 and 2019. Because we haven't had regular fire, it's all accumulated. Like I say, at some point it's going to start. Chad Gravy is the natural resource specialist with Pottawatomie County Conservation. He tells us the fires are dangerous, but they can be good for the land. Fire is a natural process that helps to cycle nutrients and it helps to stimulate growth from the native plants. These native plants evolved with fire and they're dependent on it. And then we, we try to implement fire in a way, we call it prescribed fire, where, where we pick the day instead of letting the fire pick the day. But this time we didn't get to pick the day that would be in our favor. The wind, the dry weather took control. There are fire officials who tell us the Pot County fire jumped the Missouri River to start the brush fire in Omaha's NP Dodge Park. Omaha fire officials and Chad Gravy both say that is a possibility, but both believe is unlikely. The wind direction that we had yesterday was slightly pulling away from the river and the longest spotting that we observed yesterday was about 75 feet from an elevated position from a high cottonwood tree. In order to go sideways with the wind across that river seems very unlikely. Gravy says the brush fires did bring our entire community together and the people who take care of the land played a vital role in keeping the fires under control. The farmers have been super helpful. They've dissed field edges to help us keep this contained. And then we'll work from the edges and let it do the work that the fire needs to do on the interior without putting people at risk. I'm really grateful for the help that we've gotten from the farmers, from the fire departments. Um, you know, it's, it's nice to see a community pull together like this. On your side of the Metro, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. Firefighters on both sides of the river are keeping an eye on those fires. They're now contained and hope rain can help put the fires out completely.